you're scared of research to the point that you shouted, my problem is how to make a problem. Or you have that feeling that you need a leader and you will just simply assist. Stop that mentality now. Research is not that hard. I will teach you how. Just don't forget to click like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell after watching this video for you to be updated of my lessons. I'm Teacher L. Since I graduated my master's and doctor's degree in education at Sipo Normal University, which is a research-centered institution, I wrote a number of researches. Hello to my first cousin, Jerome Anunciado from Davao City. Jerome requested me to share my knowledge and research. So here I am today, starting up with the basics that every researcher should know, an introduction to research, the characteristics, process, ethics, and its importance. Be with me today in navigating the research world. Now let's commence with the importance of research in daily life. Many are scared of doing research because of its tedious and complicated process. However, as we exist in this world, there are questions in our minds that need answers. There are problems around that need solutions. There are cases that need to be investigated so that the causes could be traced and the effects could be prevented if not stopped. There are events in our lives that need to be documented for evidence and for future use. Research is important in our daily lives as it gives us vision, knowledge, insights, solutions, philosophies, validation, and more. Bear in mind the two general purposes of research, which are to discover new knowledge and to verify or validate existing knowledge. In a nutshell, research is empowering people for invention or advancement to improve lives. I'm telling you, you don't need to be a genius or be very intelligent to be a researcher. You don't even need to have an outstanding English writing skills. You don't need to have the highest order thinking skill, but you will eventually develop your brain into the big after researching. Based on my experience, these are the characteristics that a researcher should possess. Number one, a researcher should be determined. He or she is willing to work hard, whatever it takes. He or she will keep on reading to get the necessary information. He or she will not stop writing unless the parts are complete and he or she feels that it is good enough to satisfy the readers. Number two, a researcher should be goal-oriented because he or she has the goal in mind. He or she has the vision to finish the research. He or she then has the positive attitude or positive disposition to make a good research. And third, he is a time manager. It means that he or she knows how to divide his or her time. He or she is time conscious. He makes timetable of activities and check them every now and then. And fourth, a researcher is a record, a record keeper. It means that he is or she is organized or systematic. Everything that he or she reads, he or she writes down the data or the data and the sources of information. He or she has a special notebook for taking down notes, the data related to the topic. And the last but not the least, 
A researcher is innovative. Innovative. Writing a research needs innovation. He or she has to create a new knowledge. Therefore, he or she has to use his or her common sense in adding her own style or twists of understanding. In here, his or her passion in research is reflected. So I'm telling you now, just open your heart and mind, learn to love research, and everything will be easy. Let's define research. Research comes from the French word researche, which means to travel through or to survey. Dictionaries define research as the systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Therefore, research is detailed, exhaustive, and scientific. With its nature, only people with the right attitude are inclined into research. Remember? You should have the right attitude. However, since schools are research-centered now with a K-12 curriculum, students are required to make research. Therefore, the first requirement is you should have the right attitude. Don't you worry, I will show you the easy way. You don't need to be a scientist or a genius to do so. Anyone could do research, but not all researchers are considered good, especially nowadays that there are many lazy students who have the habits of just simply copying and pasting the information without even analyzing the data. So, when could we say that a research is good? I'm using these characteristics by Lydia and Bess of 2000. First, a research is systematic, meaning the sentences and paragraphs are coherent. It follows the proper procedure and is using the right method. Second, it is controlled. A research has some protocols to follow. There are some restrictions or limit based on standards and ethics. It is guarded with what's right and what's proper. Third, it is empirical. It is based on real experiences, experiments, observations, or raw data which are verifiable. Fourth, it is analytical. Since it is a product of squeezing the brain, it is detailed, it is diagnostic, thorough, or investigative. Fifth, it is hypothetical. Research is debatable, theoretical, and vague or clear. But wait, you don't have to think all of this all the time. Just have the right attitude and follow the research process and be guided by the ethics of research. Here is the research process to make your research easy. First thing is you have to read. You have to check the recommended topics of researches from published journals. Could be online or offline. Or you could read some thesis and dissertations. Go to the recommended topics. From there, you could choose a topic. Take note, choose a topic, not yet a title. Okay, because you have now the topic in mind, you are now ready to widen your knowledge by reading a variety of resources from books, from magazines, from newspapers, journals, and from online sources. Okay. So because you're reading loads of information, you could now decide your final topic. And then you could formulate a possible title. 
Take note, it's only a possible title. Title could change. Okay, now that you have read loads of information, you are now ready to collect the data and background information to support your topic. Okay, so collect all this information that you read from different sources and look at those information that you could support to your topic. Okay, bear in mind that you have to write down your sources of information every time you read. Make sure you have the author's name, the date of publication, the book's title, the place of publication, the, the publisher's name, the page numbers, and if it is a journal, write the name and volume number. If it is online, copy-paste the URL. We will be having separate lessons on how to do that next time. Okay, so next be ready to paraphrase and rephrase the data to avoid plagiarism. You don't need really to paraphrase the time that you're reading. You could just simply copy them and then you will analyze it later on when you have enough time. And then you could paraphrase it later. Okay, so make sure you paraphrase to avoid plagiarism. Because most schools only allow 10% plagiarism, like the Cebu Normal University. Okay, so you have collected the data, meaning you are now ready to organize your data and write your research questions. Okay, because you have your research questions, you could conduct your study. Okay, so once you are finished conducting your study, you could evaluate and analyze your information. After which, you could write a draft. Okay, once you are done with the draft, analyze your work and check if you need more supporting data, if you need to describe more or elaborate more. Then you have to think, rethink and reanalyze. Edit, rethink, revise, including your title, and ask someone to check your work. Because based on my experience, if you're a researcher and you keep on reading the same every now and then, you'll be dizzy, you want to throw up because you're tired, you're sick and tired, sick and tired of reading it again and again. So it is best to ask someone to check your work. Okay, after which, finalize your draft and check if the parts are complete and all the sources are cited. And because you have finalized, you are now ready to print. And because you have printed, prepare yourself for the questions from the panel discussion. Research varies depending on the types of research you are conducting, whether it's quantitative or qualitative. We will be talking about qualitative versus quantitative the next meeting. Okay, let me just read The Ethics of Research by Ren Ren Shou Library of the University of Hong Kong. Research ethics provides guidelines for the responsible conduct of research. In addition, it educates and monitors scientists conducting research to ensure a high ethical standard. The following is a general summary of some ethical principles. Honesty, honestly report data, results, methods, and procedures, and publication status. Do not fabricate, falsify, or mis misrepresent data. Objectivity, strive to avoid bias in experimental design, data analysis, data interpretation, peer review, personal decisions, grant writing, expert testimony, and other aspects of research. Integrity, keep your promise and agreements, act with sincerity, strive for consistency of thought and action. Carefulness, avoid careless errors and negligence, careful and critically examine your own work and the work of your peers. Keep good records of research activities. 
openness, share data, results, ideas, tools, resources. Be open to criticism and new ideas. Respect for intellectual property. Honor patents, copyrights, and other forms of intellectual property. Do not use unpublished data, methods, or results without permission. Give credit where credit is due. Never plagiarize. Confidentiality. Protect confidential communications, such as papers or grants submitted for publication, personal records, trade or military secrets, and patent or patient records. Responsible publication. Publish in order to advance research and scholarship, not to advance just your own career, Avoid wasteful and duplicative publication. That's all for today. Don't forget, everything could be learned. So just learn to love research and everything will be easy. Just need to practice and practice will lead you the way to make research easy. Thank you so much for subscribing, for clicking like and hitting the notification bell. You can write your reaction below or suggest topic for our next lesson. This has been Teacher L, your online teacher and researcher.